Good evening, my fellow infected psychopaths. Today, I'll be injecting you with the insanity that is my voice. Let's get started. He's been sitting like that for the last two hours. What's he doing? He's either trying to figure out a new way to shoot or kill something, or he's thinking of a new weapon to make. You know, as screwed up and twisted as Bao has a menace is, sometimes I really wonder what goes on in his mind, 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 mind. Okay, fellow thoughts, the boss is finally done with our dreaded Christmas animation. Now he needs new ideas for Lego guns. Go! Well, we could always make a Glock. If I hear the words make a Glock one more time, they're getting their brains painted on the wall. You there! What do you got for me? Uh, 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 oh, maybe we can make a semi-automatic pistol. There's still some ideas we can explore to make it more efficient. Okay, that's not a bad idea, but we don't have any flyview motors on hand. The boss needs something that I can make now. You, you're up. If you use the word Glock in your sentence, I'm turning your body into goddamn Swiss cheese. Go! I, I, uh, I, uh, oh, I got it! You know how we have a same on Mac for our band brick shooter pistol? Well, what if we make a SMG version of that? My god. That's a great idea! Why does it madness? Are you oh, never mind that. Kill the montage. <laughs> We've come to terms with misery. We are all dying anyway. No matter how you thought you'd earn it, was it nothing? Now look me back on my mistakes I'll make you more of a fool again We stay with the fool This is a war What was lost by the dark What was lost No one can face me No self-hate is a way down I know to help the dust be clear I mean it when I say You don't make this day I mean it when I say I'm dying on the day This, my fellow infected psychopath, is the case spell automatic. A weapon when you want something simple before auto. <laughs> this mechanism is actually pretty old. You see, while I have my flywheel technology, and while us as are still stuck using AG mechanisms, there was something that were commonly used back in the day. That was the fully automatic rubber band brick shooters. For sake of simplicity's sake, I'm going to be referring to this mechanism as FARBBS for short. To understand how FARBBS mechanisms work, you have to understand how fully automatic rubber band guns work. Fully automatic rubber band guns are merely more complex than their semi automatic counterparts. There are four parts of the mechanism one large gear, one small gear, the blowback bolt, the L-shaped trigger, and the main trigger. The small gear has a half beam connected to each side with a single axle. These half beams will act like the arms of the small gear. In front of the small gear is a L-shaped trigger. This will act like a one-way system. The mechanism is a big to small gear ratio. The big gear will hold the rubber bands. The rubber bands will want to move the gear but can't due to the arms of the small gear being blocked by the L-shaped trigger. I should also mention, the L-shaped trigger has a rubber band tied to it. Keep it in place until outside forces move it. A specialized bolt that I call the blowback bolt is designed to have an L-shaped lever. The blowback bolt will get moved back due to a rubber band. The blowback bolt will push on the L-shaped trigger, 
releasing a rubber band. This same rubber band will be caught by the L-shaped lever. Due to the rubber band hitting the L-shaped lever, the force of it will move the blowback bolt forward. Since the main trigger will be pulled back, this will make a smaller chamber for the L-shaped lever. This lever will be forced down by the band, which will release and fire the rubber band. Since there's not a greater force keeping the blowback bolt forward, the rubber band tied to the bolt will move the bolt back, restarting the entire process again. What people used to do was build magazines that would house the projectiles. The rubber bands of the gun would slingshot the projectiles out, this is what was considered the first fully automatic LEGO guns, or at least the brick shooters. While this mechanism was advanced at the time, Unfortunately, I couldn't replicate it when we were first making LEGO guns. Dumbass. Look, I consider myself a LEGO gunsmithing genius, but I wasn't always like that. You see, I had a bad case of adolescent smooth brain. And I couldn't comprehend fully on Mac rubber band guns. It was just a mystery to me, at least until now. So, with my past shortcomings said, I decided to make a fully automatic rubber band gun by using a worm gear box. Worm gears are great because they won't allow the gear to move unless the worm gear itself is turning. This mechanism was actually my first LEGO fully automatic gun that I posted on my channel way back in the day. You can still see it too. Just keep in mind the quality of the video isn't as good compared to my videos nowadays. So, you might die from cringe. With that said, I decided to use this mechanism to make my own FARBBS. So I did. I did change some things to make loading easier. How it works is actually pretty simple. A motor is connected to a worm gear thanks to a LEGO Technic side shaft adapter. Just like I mentioned earlier, the gear system is a worm gear to regular gear system. If you notice, the gear above the worm gear is connected to a smaller gear due to a axle. A few centimeters above the small gear is a nerd gear that's connected to a LEGO Technic knob gear. For explanation's sake, I'm going to be referring to this part as the loading gear. Between the loading gear and the small gear, there's a third gear that acts like a middleman of the system. This gear is attached to a lift arm with a frictionless axle pin. A spring is tied to the lift arm. The great thing about this particular part is that the third gear won't move clockwise due to the small gear not moving. However, when I turn the loading gear clockwise, it will cause the lift arm move out slightly, causing the third gear to no longer be locked up by the small gear. This allows me to move the loading gear freely. The spring of the lift arm ensures the system stays one way until I pull the trigger, activating the motor. A internal magazine loads the projectiles in between the rubber bands. The magazine is actually designed after Martin Sir Lacrosse internal magazine. What makes his design so great is that you can actually slide the ammunition in on the front side of the magazine. When the trigger is pulled, it will push on a limit switch that will turn on a motor, connected to a gear system. This gear system will turn the knob gears, releasing the rubber bands. The rubber bands will then sling the projectiles out, making this weapon into a fully automatic.
mechanism has its pros and cons. The pros being that this gun shoots pretty accurate. It's probably accurate as one of my OH OAS rifles. However, the range is variant. If you use smaller rubber bands, it will shoot further. The problem is, rubber bands tend to wear down quickly. So after a few shots, the range can like be short. As I'm recording this, I am trying to solve this issue by using some elastic bands. However, this gun is a very fun piece of history. Like I said, this gun was commonly used back in the day. This is what we had before I made my flywheel technology, or even before people started using AEG mechanisms. So it is a very good piece of history to have in my collection. However, like a piece of history, this gun is more like the fully automatic musket of LEGO guns. It just takes so long to load. It could be lengthy at best and tedious at worst. But like I said, it's a very good piece of history, not to mention this gun uses very few Technic pieces, which it can be budget friendly. But that's all the time we have today for this class of Arsenal. Make sure to like and subscribe, also hit or shoot the notification bell. Also be sure to check out my other videos as well. Until next time, see you later you psychopaths. I won't have time for the